In the fifth problem, the equation of trajectory of the particle is given and we are asked to find the velocity of the particle. The equation of trajectory of the particle is given as y equals to x minus bx square and we are asked to find the initial velocity of the particle find u right so this is the question now I know that the equation of trajectory of the particle in a projectile motion is given by y equals to x tan theta 1 minus x by r right now this equation I can write it as y equals to ax 1 minus b by ax now let's compare these two equations if we compare these two equations we'll get tan theta as a and the range of the particle as a by b now we also not know that the range of the particle is given by u square sine 2 theta by g this is the range of the particle now so the sine 2 theta I can write it as u square 2 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta this is equal to a by b and from here I know that the value of tan theta is a so I'll get from here I'll get u square 2 u square into a by g times 1 plus a square equals to a by b this a gets cancelled and I'll get u square as equal to g 1 plus a square by 2b and u will be equal to root of this so this is the answer so the only equation used in this question was the equation of trajectory of the particle and also we should know the range the equation for the range of the particle that's it now let's move move to the next problem that is the sixth problem The sixth problem is also a similar problem in which it says that a particle is projected from ground with a velocity of 20 meters per second at an angle theta right at some instant the particle is located here such that it has already covered a horizontal displacement of 20 meters and a vertical displacement of 15 meters this is the information given and we are asked to find the angle at which the particle is projected that is theta again since in this question we are given the vertical and horizontal displacement at an instant of time t it's better to start with the equation of trajectory of the particle to solve the problem the equation of trajectory of the particle is given by y equals to x tan theta 1 minus x by r right okay now we'll put these two values we'll get I'll get 15 equals to 20 tan theta 1 minus x is 20 in this case by r we know that the range of the particle is given by u square sine 2 theta by g right this I can write it as 2 u square tan theta by g 1 plus tan square theta using basic equations of trigonometry now let's put the value of range what we have derived here in this case before that let's simplify this because 20 is given 
so this will become 2 into 20 square that is 400 so it will become 800 by g is that means it's 80 it's 80 tan theta by 1 plus tan square theta so this becomes 3 equals to 4 tan theta 1 minus 20 by 80 tan theta 1 plus tan square theta right so this will be 4 now let's simplify this equation i'll get 4 tan theta minus this 4 to the minus 1 plus tan square theta right So finally I'll get I'll bring the RHS to LHS side and I'll get tan square theta minus four tan theta plus four equals to zero. Now solving this equation I'll see that tan theta equals to two will satisfy the equation. So the tan theta equals to two is a solution to this problem and so the angle of projection is tan inverse of 2. Right? It's nothing but tan theta minus 2 whole square. So from there I will get this. Okay. Now this equation again was based on the equation of trajectory of the particle and the range the equation of the range of the particle now let's move on to the seventh problem